Um, so I'm going to be sharing some of the invisible features that I came across this summer um, uh, with C++. <laughs> so uh, the reason I put the features in quotation marks is because these features are a little confusing and there are very less cases that you might find it actually useful. <coughs> and most of these cases uh, will lead to a lot of unreadable code that you don't want in your uh, source. So what are these features that I'm going to talk about? First of all, um, case label placement, uh, assigning to turning, ternary statement, uh, array operators is associative, and pure virtual functions with function boy. So <laughs> we all know go to statement is able. Uh, it's some, some of the things that most of the programmers hate. Uh, so this is an example showing uh, uh, the go to statement. In this, um, uh, um, we can see that uh, C++ still uh, uses the go to, straight, uh, go to statements, and we can see in this example. The next uh, thing to ponder upon on this uh, thing is uh, the go to statement is implemented similar to a switch statement. As you can see, the colon symbol used in the switch statements. We use the argument of the switch, sta uh, switch statement to perform which whichever case we want to perform. Um, so my point here is like uh, switch statements have the same implementation as the go to statements because uh, they are implemented as jump tables and the argument in the switch statement is used to reference the position uh, of uh, the source code that you want to implement. And that's the reason you have a break statement over there so you want to just break the code uh, that you want to execute after that. Uh, here's a fun fact. Uh, you can also place an arbitrary URL into your source code. The first uh, HTTP would be the case name uh, and the colon would be the case label and the, since it's double, uh, it's forward slashes, it's, it'll be a comment. So, yeah. So next thing I want to talk about is assigning to turning, ternary statement. We all know about ternary statements. Uh, so ternary statements evaluate to an L value. So here's an example where you can use the ternary statement to, uh, to take a value and assign it to another variable. In this case, whatever value of the option would be, uh, you can assign it uh, to either A or B, depending if the value of the option is greater than one or less. Uh, you can also use it to select an object and call a method on that object. So this is some, something that I came across this summer that I never used. Uh, array operators associative. Uh, so we all know about pointer arithmetic uh, in C and C++. Uh, we can use C style arrays uh, as pointers and vice versa. Um, sometimes it's useful, but most of the times it isn't. Um, as, we can, um, as we can see, like array three is synonymous to pointer array plus three. But what's the, what, what's the new stuff that I learned about this summer is like you can actually represent it as the index number slash the array name. So, uh, <coughs> That's pretty interesting because you can do uh, pointer arithmetic at that place as well. And you can you do some crazy stuff, I don't know. Um, the last thing I wanna talk about is like uh, the pure virtual functions. As far as I knew, uh, pure virtual functions didn't have a function body, but true, uh, you, it, it doesn't have a function body, but you can, uh, you can instantiate uh, an object with a pure virtual function. These pure virtual functions can be implemented and called from derived classes. Uh, as an example, I have this base class that has a do something uh, virtual function. Uh, it's derived by the class derived. And I am actually calling the virtual, uh, pure virtual function from the derived class. So this is a statement about Scott Myers um, um, that this is actually a feature that is actually useful about all the four features I spoke about. So um, derived classes that implement this pure virtual function may call this implementation somewhere in the code. If part of the code of two different derived classes is similar, then it makes sense to move it up in the hierarchy, even if the function should be pure virtual. Yeah, thank you.